Hi, Rebecca. Okay. Um, good video. Uh, is exactly what I meant when I wanted us to be like, you know, real. It was like, like you. It was pretty emotional. It was really good. Um, but so the thirty-eight years thing, like that, definitely scares me too. I mean, like I have no friggin' clue what I want to do. So I was like wondering, like, who does? Like, does is there anyone that ha that plans that far ahead, who knows exactly how their life is gonna like sort out um so i thought i'd ask a couple people so uh guys okay um in, in. both of you come on uh so this introduce yourselves i'm travis i'm jesse okay um cousins now uh jesse what do you want to do for 38 years of your life? Uh, hmm. Don't know? Well, get married. Get married? Get married for 38 years of your life. Okay, okay. Um, now, Travis. Be bored for my life. Be bored. That's your, that's your life goal for 38 years. You want to be bored. Actually play DS Lite. Actually play DS Lite. Is that your final answer? Mm-hmm. Play DS. Play DS and uh, get married. All right, so let's use our TOK minds to uh, analyze those two answers. So the first one, uh, Jesse's, is, was marriage. And I think that's, it represents one kind of idea for planning for the future. And it's like having one thing that y you want to accomplish. It's like a, it's a, almost like a checkpoint kind of thing. Like first kiss or first boyfriend or girlfriend or and then marriage. And like that like that kind of thing. Like you want to you have to plan for one thing. Like in the future I wanna have a family. In the future I wanna get married. In the future I wanna have a good job and make lots of money. In the future I want a boat. In the future, I want to sail around the world and conquer Antarctica. That kind of thing. Okay, so that that was Jesse's um, answer. And now Travis's. His was to play DS. And he basically, he took a thing that he wanted to do at that time, and then he's he just decided that that's what he would do. And I think that's a good metaphor like for what you have to do in the short term, short term planning. Like, I mean, if, you, if you're if you always constantly looking ahead to the future, like, I want to get married, 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 then as soon as you get in a relationship, you're going to be super clingy. And it's, it stops you from actually accomplishing that goal. I don't know, that's, di that's kind of different from your, the problems that you brought up, which was just that that unknown like will I get married do I want to get married I don't know and it, like I don't know what I want to do like having no long-term goals and I think that well Travis's his his goal thing was it was just a short-term goal really I'm gonna play DS because I feel like it and that is another way to get through life it's like some people planning for the future is what they do but other people is it all depends on who you are i think okay so there's the tok bit and now for your punishment since you went over the time limit the video after we set it this punishment was inspired by my sister basically i asked her to make me tea and i trusted her and i didn't watch her put stuff in it and she put stuff in it so your uh, punishment is to drink one full mug of orange pico tea with milk and two table two teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of onion powder uh good luck